Is there one scene in particular that fans of the show always ask you about? Junk Melly. I talk about, I love to talk about Junk Melly. People love Junk Melly. Yeah. yeah. And I love it, so I'm always happy. <laughs> oh, I'm drunk now. No. <laughs> I get that right. One of the things, the idea that Melly would be a candidate for president of the United States huh. is um, okay. among us. <laughs> is completely insane. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I don't think you'd vet. I really don't know. I don't know what the Come vetting on, process. Jimmy. I think the vetting process for joining the cast is tougher than for being present. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send Huck to talk to you. See if he can be a little <laughs> convincing. <laughs> you guys, oh, you have a new, I don't know, you know, of course, well, I don't know if you, how much, how far, how far ahead do you guys know what's going on? Not at all. Yeah. Just the episode. Compared to the public, you know, 10, 14 days, something like that. 10, 14 hours, days ahead. Two or three like episodes. one to two episodes ahead. Yeah. Okay, so you really don't know a whole lot more. No clue. That's and we've be... never been allowed in a writing room, <laughs> ever. You have I no. was once. Yeah. I was once as, oh, as, as a director. I was directing, and yeah. I was let into the writer's room, and Shonda said, I'm very uncomfortable with Tony being here. <laughs> really? She was saying it in a sweet way, but she's like, this is really weird having you here. Yeah, so, did they um, not trust you? Or I mean, it's in a way, it's uh, a, a, That's right. It's a gift that they give you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Because you can't right. honestly say to your fans when they're pestering you for details that they don't really want to know anyway, because they don't want the show to be ruined. But you can't say, I, real, I don't know. And people, I think, in this one, on this one show actually might oh, no. possibly believe you. Mm -hmm. It's true. We really, we have no clue. Like, people always ask us about the arc of, like, where do you think the season's going to end? And we're like, we don't know where the next episode ends because they're rewriting like, it. I feel like Shonda tells Carrie and not anybody else. I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> and Carrie Believe just it. innocently says, oh, no, I, you know, I don't know either, and I have laryngitis, so I can't really answer that. <laughs> I will say, occasionally I get these very strange questions from her, like, are you okay running barefoot? Really? You get like emails, right? Yeah, I'll get an email or an email that says like, um, do you have any negative history with this person? Huh. Wow. I, so occasionally I get like a random question. Uh -huh. It's a little bit of a teaser, but I, the one time the first season that I sent a question back to her, she never responded. So I don't do any follow-up questions. I see. I got, I got my, my cryptic ones from Shonda were, what sports do you play? Oh, yeah. And I said, anything but basketball. <laughs> and then two episodes later, <laughs> the basketball team was gone. <laughs> and the season before, she said, um, what sports do you play? I said, anything but basketball. And then I jokingly said, I can chop wood. <laughs> Lo and behold, in the episode, I feel like yeah, chopping wood. Yeah, you can. 